This is John from Racy Moto. I'm here with the new Ultra B. Now, when I did my first videos, one of the criticisms I had was that it didn't have any regen. So we'd only just got the bike. We had Chinese manuals. We couldn't read it. But what we've discovered is there's quite a few settings that you can change that improve the bike's overall handling and uh, basically usefulness. So one of the things is you can adjust the regen not only on the brakes, but on the coasting mode. There's also a function where you can t uh, turn off your tilt. In other words, if you're wheel standing too far or if you lay the bike over, it will cut, so you can get rid of that. You can turn on and off your brake, uh, brake cuts. You can also adjust your throttle settings. You can do some uh, analysis on the bike and also you can adjust your charge settings. So what I'd like to do quickly is show you how you do this. So the trick is you've got to have your bike on and you need to stand down. What you do is you've got your ASR button on the right and your ready button, sorry, your ASR button on your left and your ready button on the right. Press them both in and hold them for a while. Notice that this changes to B. Now B is your brake setting. If I hit that again, E is for coast. A is for your traction control. P is for um, brake cuts on and off. C is for tilt, if you fall over or you tilt too far. F is for your throttle uh, curve adjustments. T is for your analysis and U is for your charge rate. Then it'll go back to B. So if you see a zero, that means it's off. So this means that B zero, the brake uh, regen function is off on the lever, is what I'm assuming. So what that means is when you touch your back brake, if you have regen, your back brake will activate the motor to slow you a little bit. Different to the coast mode. So this is your brake mode. Coast mode is when you back off zero throttle, the level will uh, dictate how much regen you get in your coasting. Like a four stroke, when you back off, it will want to stop you. Okay, so we're, we're in the brake mode. Now, if I hit this uh, right hand button, the ready button, it will toggle me up. So I'm gonna put that up to five. I like a lot of regen. I'm going to hit the right, uh, left hand one again, take me to the coast mode. On the coast mode, I can take that up to five as well. ASR, traction control, I don't normally use. Um, this one here is brake cuts, I do not like them, so zero brake cuts are off. This one, tilt mode is off, which is good. Throttle curves I haven't worked with before analysis I'm not too sure and that's the fastest charge setting so I think it's 1.1 kilowatts which means it'd be just under four hours to charge on 240 volt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out reasonable hill here I'm going to take that off get my ready going I'm going to roll down this hill and just see how fast it goes so now I've got uh, level 5 on the E mode, which is coast, and we'll see how fast it gets up to. So we're up to 32 kilometers an hour, 33 maximum, and we'll just see where we stop. So I would consider this, even though that's the hardest or highest setting, I'd consider that mm, medium to light regen. On my comp bikes I run a lot more because what you really need to do is recapture that energy. Now remember with regen braking, that if your battery is fully charged, you won't get it. You need to have uh, less than 95% of the battery charged for your regen to work, and that's a protection for the battery. So if you're fully charged and you go out and you expect your regen, yeah, you won't get it. It'll uh, only work under those, uh, that threshold of 95 Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the setting. I'm going to change it down to zero, zero. Uh, zero. Side stand down. 
Okay, so this one here will make that zero, and this one here will make that zero. So that's zero regen braking on the br brake lever and zero on the coast, and we'll do the same thing. Now, last time, we got up to 33 kilometers an hour. Let's just see how fast we go this time without the regen. Depends on what you like doing, but truthfully, I like the regen because you're trying to recapture as much power as you can. When you accelerate, you're going to use you know, 5, 6, 10, 12 kilowatts of energy. So when you de-accelerate just as quickly, you're assuming you're going to use a lot of energy as well by putting your brakes on. This goes to heat. So if you can get that energy back into your battery, you're going to ride further. Now generally, you're not going to capture as much energy in your battery through regen, the reason is that the batteries have a limit. Normally they don't like more than one C charge rate, so there are limitations to how much or how fast you can put energy back into a battery. You can let energy out of a battery quicker than getting energy into the battery. So there is limitations. So I think that's a good test. So on level five, we hit out at 33, 34K an hour. Without it, we got up to, you know, 49.50k. Um, so, big difference. So, the, in the bush, uh, what the difference it makes is you go further with regen on, plus you get less forearm pump because you're not always relying on squeezing your brakes to slow down. So, personally, I'd prefer more regen than this bike's giving me, but at least it's got some. In the last event, I had it on a low setting or no and oh, it was terrible i hated it so that was my major criticism of the ultra b i'd have to say now it's definitely one of my favorite bikes and after seeing it keep up with all the you know the competition two-stroke bikes this bike is going to be really good i'm looking for a few more faults and i'm sure there are um, definitely the wheels, you know, we've got to change those, but everything else has been holding up pretty well. One little thing I did find, I also had a problem with the ready switch, and I actually found out what the problem was. When I come off, the throttle rolled, and there's a flat section here. Um, with the flat section, the switch goes all the way in, but if the throttle is in a different position, it prevents the switch going in. And that's all it was. It wasn't a fully switch. It was just the throttle was in the wrong position. So I hope that helps. I'll put uh, the list of the codes in the comments. And uh, if you've got any questions or there's something else you want to know about the, um, the Ultra B, let us know. We'd like to do some more testing and uh, get as much information gathered as we can and see if there's some other you know, better parts we can make for them, etc. But so far, it's a really good bike. Looking forward to uh, getting some more time on it.